Hi guys, welcome to Accounting Online. In this video, uh, we are going to discuss what is accrued expense and then later I'll show you how to post, how to record the accrued expense in Sage 50 accounts. So this is part of the series of my uh, computerized bookkeeping tutorials. Uh, the first thing is uh, we're going to discuss quickly uh, we're going to see the definition of accrued expense. So accrued expense is a kind of expense which you record in your books first and then you pay the expense later. Yep. So let's say you have used a service, a facility for the whole of the month and then once the period is gone, you receive the invoice for that and then you pay it. Yep. According to that amount. So uh, for this video, uh, what I have done is I have taken the example of electricity bill. Um, uh, you know, the utilities can be the best example of accrued expense. Let's say, you know, water, uh, gas and electricity. So um, this is the real life situation. This is what a friend of mine has sent to me. So I have drafted this one into a question for this uh, video. So let's start. So New Leak Limited. Uh, pays electricity bill quarterly in areas. The electricity bill for last quarter uh, ending on 31st of January 2018 was £10,560 uh, including VAT. The bill for the quarter ending 30th of April was received on 4th of May 2018 and the amount is 11310 including uh, VAT. So what's happening here is <clears throat> So what's happening here is we need to record the expense uh, for our quarter ending 30th of April based on the electricity bill for the last quarter. Yeah. So because you know the thing is we have to record some expense in the month of February, in the month of March and in the month of April. But the question is we haven't received the bill for that uh, for that quarter until 4th of May 2018. So what we're going to do is we're going to record the figures. We're going to record the electricity expense based on the figures uh, for the previous quarter. Yep. So so what I've done is I've done few uh, double entries. Um, it's 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 going to be the step by step approach, uh, and then we're going to do the same uh, thing in, in in Sage 50 accounts. Okay. Let's have a look. Quick. Let's have a look uh, on the double entries first. And then we're gonna go into the. Uh, then I'll show you how to record the expense in Sage. Okay, so what's what's gonna happen here? So uh, bill for 31st of January 2018 is 10,560. So uh, net figure is 8,800 and VAT is 1,760, which is 20%. And gross is gonna be 10,560. We're gonna take only net figure because VAT. We're not going to take the gross figure because VAT is is uh, related to the previous quarter and not for this quarter. Yeah, so we're going to only uh, record the net figure. So on 30 on 28th of February, we're going to record. Um, we're going to book the accruals. We're going to for the accrued expenses. So the double entry is going to be uh, debit electricity expense and credit electricity payable. What I've done is I've divided the 8800, which is net figure by three. By the number of months so this comes up to 2933.33 uh, this electricity expense it goes into profit and loss so it brings your profit down and electricity payable it stays there in your balance sheet yeah okay on 31st of March again we're gonna do the same entry debit electricity expense and credit electricity payable so electricity payable it because it goes into uh, balance sheet so it accumulates with the previous uh, expense. So 2933 plus 2933. Uh, on 31st of uh, April, we're going to do the same entry, debit electricity expense and credit electricity payable. Yeah. Okay. So by the end of, at the end of quarter, let, that is 30th of April, we're going to have the outstanding liability, the electricity bill in, in form of electricity bill. And the total amount is going to be 8800. Yeah, so this is what is outstanding at the end of the quarter. Okay, the next step is, which is number four, on 1st of May, we have to do the reversal of electricity payable. Yeah, on 1st of May. 
So what we're going to do is how are you going to do the reversal? So it's going to be another journal entry. So we're going to do the debit electricity payable and credit electricity expense. So whatever the payable was on 30th of April, it stays there. But just because we have to do the reversal to remove that payable. So the entry is going to be electricity payable debit and electricity expense credit. Yep. We're going to do this expense because on 4th of May, we have received the bill, the original bill for quarter ending 30th of April. Yep. Okay. So we're going to post an invoice for that new bill. So electricity bill is going to be debit 9425 and purchase tax control account is going to be credit 1885. Uh, and electricity payable is going to be double one three one zero. So you know if we had not post the reversal of electricity payable, it would have been it would have overstated. The the balance of electricity payable would have been overstated. So this is why we removed the balance for the previous quarter by debiting electricity payable and crediting the electricity expense. Okay, once you have done this one. So what you need to do is um, later the last step is going to be you just need to pay the electricity bill which is which is sitting in your balance sheet as the electricity payable in, in the electricity payable account. Okay so this is the um, double entry for the um, whole of the um, uh, accrued expense and then I'll show you how to post this one in Sage50 accounts.